Hi, I'm Catherine with Research Rock. Us today, especially those of us who work in the market research and customer insight space, is that we have a lot of different research methods that we can use. So when a client comes to us for any specific business objective, whether it's to do market segmentation or product concept testing or discovering unmet customer needs or many other types of objectives, for any objective that people come to us with these days, I guarantee you we have more than one methodology that may be appropriate. So it's important for us to be data agnostic. After all, if we are researchers, if we are people who are putting ourselves out there as being objective researchers and objective analysts, we shouldn't be biased about our choice of methodology. But there is a lot of bias these days. You can just take a look at LinkedIn or newsletters or any of several different websites. And one of the things you see is there's a lot of bias between big data and what we sometimes affectionately call small data. Lately, there have been some cases where there have been well-publicized big data projects that have failed to meet their return on investment expectations. And unfortunately, I am seeing some of my small data colleagues be a little bit too gleeful about this. So let's be clear. Yes, there have been some well-publicized cases of big data projects that have not gone well. But let's also be honest that there have been plenty of small data projects that have also not gone well. Indeed, the failure of the uh, whole polling industry to accurately predict who would win the recent United States presidential election does cast a bit of a negative halo over survey research in general. All research methodologies have their pros and cons. No data source is perfect. Whether you do surveys or focus groups or big data analytics or web commerce site analytics or other types of quantitative or qualitative research, no data source is perfect. So let's not be too gleeful when we find out that people who are using methods that are different than us are not doing well. We all have our pros and cons. What's important is that these days we have a lot of options. And as people who are professionals in the market research and consumer insight space, it's really important that if we're going to be a trusted advisor, that we're aware of what the different options are so that we know when to recommend what methodology for what specific client need. In contrast, we have a not so hypothetical friend down here, my friend John, and John does a lot of projects related to product concept testing. The challenge is that every project that comes his way, he assumes is going to be best met by focus groups. Now, that may be true, but probably not. It's probably a situation where every project John gets, he thinks they would be best met by focus groups, but in reality, there may be other options. Maybe it is focus groups. Maybe it's social media listening. Maybe it would be best met through an idea voting platform or a survey or a e-commerce site experiment. There are a lot of different methods that we can use these days for product concept testing. So. What I want to make sure we do as a profession is be data agnostic. Let's not be biased. Let's be the trusted data advisor that business decision makers can turn to with their objectives and know that we're not just going to try to put them into a methodology path that is comfortable for us. It's up to us to be the objective trusted advisor so that our clients can get the best possible data. So. That's my call of action. It's about being data agnostic. Let's not default to a suboptimal solution just because it's the one we're most comfortable with. So one of the things that we're doing here at Research Rockstar is teaching data fluency as well, uh, so that whether you're dealing with colleagues or clients who may have a very narrow methodology set, that they can learn about a bunch of different methods to help them realize that not every single project is a focus group and not every single project is a survey, that they indeed have a lot of options. So in fact, this particular slide is drawn from our class on data fluency for marketers. If you have any questions, please contact me at Research Rockstar. Thanks.